Welcome to the Faculty of Dentistry News Bites at the University of Hong Kong. I'm Stephanie Chung. Here's a taste of today's dental news bites. Giving children back their birthdays while promoting oral health. Half of the children in Hong Kong's preschools have tooth decay. A graduate student at the faculty has set up a global charity that will use dental knowledge to make birth records especially in developing countries that don't have a good birth registration system. Third year PhD candidate Dr. Jayakumar Jayaraman calls his charity the DOB or Date of Birth Foundation. He will raise funds to use dental records to give birthdays back to children and young adults who don't know their real age. He will also promote worldwide birth registration by raising awareness of the need to improve policies and procedures for recording births. At the DOB Foundation's launch party at the Faculty of Dentistry in August, Dr. Jayaraman said that a young person's age can be predicted from studying tooth development in routine dental x-rays. This method is more reliable than other methods, such as studying bone development. Recording an accurate, official age is important for giving people a legal identity and to secure their legal rights. The Foundation's first project will take place in India, where the United Nations Children's Fund estimates only 41% of births are registered. Volunteer dentists will offer a full dental checkup for abandoned children in a village in Chennai. Not only will the dentists give dental treatment, but they will also calculate ages from whole mouth x-ray images and then help create official identity papers. The project is being supported by the Hong Kong University Knowledge Exchange Fund. The idea for setting up the DOB Foundation was sparked during Dr. Jayaraman's research on dental forensics. His PhD supervisor at the faculty is Dr. Gloria Wong, and he has also collaborated and published his research with a team at King's College, London. A team of dentists at the University of Hong Kong has found that roughly one half of Hong Kong's preschool children have untreated tooth decay, which could lead to pain and serious infection. Any signs of tooth decay were detected in 49% of a random selection of 700 kindergarten children. On average, each child had 2.2 teeth with untreated cavities or showed past cavities such as fillings or missing teeth due to decay. Nearly all of the affected teeth had untreated cavities, meaning that each child had an average of 2.1 teeth with current decay. Statistical tests revealed that the most important factors affecting dental health were the number of snacks per day, whether the child had been to a dentist, the parent's oral health knowledge, and family income. The study team, which included Dr. Chun Hung Chu and Professor Edward Lowe from the Faculty of Dentistry, published the findings in the journal BMC Public Health. They note that the poor dental condition of Hong Kong's preschoolers hasn't changed in the past decade, and conclude that oral health promotion in kindergartens needs to involve not only the children, but also their parents and teachers. Those are today's Dental News Bites. Join us again next time from the Faculty of Dentistry at the University of Hong Kong. Bye-bye.